Rick Barnes in the house, 22 years old, and he's got a company, Never Impossible, where you do a few different things. So talk about how you came up with Never Impossible and what it is. Well, the name came when I was in high school. I went to a Christian school. It was a project we had to do. And my coach at the time, I think his name was Coach Hallback, he said, we got to come up with a phrase. Well, I said, impossible is nothing. And it started from there. And it started as impossible is nothing through faith in God. And it just grew to never impossible. Yeah, and you train kids. You got your own media company that mm -hmm. you're starting. You're trying to go get your teaching degree. Talk about why you decided to get in the training side of things. Well, it was my mentor, Shay Hodge, when I stopped playing, he, he texted me. He was like, hey, I see you have a media company. He said, I also see you training. So I'm just... Come, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> come with me. Yeah, and, and I guess the never impossible means something to you, right? Okay. Okay. Which is, you, you say that, you know, you trained with Shea Hodge, and you got to train with some of these people, and you, meet, you decided to become something rather mm -hmm. than just, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that was the whole reason behind starting it. And it's also with the training, like, you teach kids how to be something. It's more than just football. You gotta have something ex besides football. And that's something I really teach young men. Do you work with them with stuff other than football? Oh yeah, 100%. Well, what are the, some of those things? Like my, my little brother, he, he was struggling in school, got him, got him a tutor. So another kid, we had to, I had to help tutor him. <laughs> so it, it just all comes with it, being a coach. Okay, and you also have a media company. What do you do with the media company? Oh, yeah. Every, every football game on Thursday or Friday, every basketball game, we're always trying to be there. We're trying to put a spotlight on these kids in Mississippi, you know, so they can really be seen. We have a lot of talent just in Mississippi. Yeah, and for people that don't know, Shea Hodge, he coached you in high school at Hillcrest Christian. He also was a great wide receiver at yeah. Ole Miss. He has a training company mm -hmm. himself that he does here. How has he been a mentor on you? Oh, um, Shea has really steered me in the right direction. He, he really, he, he said a phrase once. He said, be who you wanted, be who you want to be, be who you needed to be when you were younger. Interesting. And that's kind of what I go by now. Yeah, and what does that phrase mean to you, like, when you break it down? It's really like, when I was younger, I needed, I needed help in school. I needed I needed somebody to show me how to be a good example for other, other young men, other, other people just in general. Because, you know, everybody doesn't know that. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, like, like you said, there, there's a lot of kids that, you know, want to want to do certain things, but maybe they just don't have the guidance mm. for it. Uh, what's your next steps in life? Get my teaching degree, eventually but teach somewhere and continue coaching. Yeah, right. Uh, very <laughs> impressive. And, and you're on the staff at Reimagine Prep. Oh, yeah, Tell yes, me sir. about now that you're actually like somebody that is on a football staff, because I know when you were playing, you're like, oh, <laughs> you know, you know, you see all those coaches and stuff. It's like, nope, you're one of them now. <laughs> yeah, it, um, it's just, I got to thank Coach Horton and Coach Evans, man. Those are the head coach and the defensive coordinator at Reimagine. They brought me in with open arms and taught me a lot, especially just being a new coach. Yeah, I knew of football, but I didn't know how to coach. Not 100%. <laughs> and what have you learned in the coaching scene? You just got to be patient with the kids. Yeah, that's, that's, I hear that from all the coaches. <laughs> just patience. Yeah. A, a lot of kids going to have a lot of different skill sets. Hone, on it, hone, hone them in on it and just teach them as well as you can.